It's going on guys, Strimp here. Today I'm going to be playing some Extinction Mug, giving you my ultimate Campalicious Delicious Sentry Gun Tactic. This is, in my opinion, the quickest way and easiest to complete Extinction Mode on Call of Duty Ghost. So when you spawn in, you're going to want to pay attention to the bottom left hand corner of your screen, just above your health bar. Because as soon as someone plants that drill, it's going to give you a challenge. And what you guys want to do is complete as many challenges as possible, which is going to give you loads of skill points. And you're going to want as many skill points as possible because it's going to allow you to rank up your abilities. And you're going to want to get your, well I say by the first hive, you want at least two points or one, one point in your sentry gun. But I like to, first of all, I put all four points into my ammo, so I'm that guy with the ammo. I ain't got to rely on no one else. If you know what I mean. You know, it's, that's the worst thing waiting for someone to give you ammo. But anyway, once you get to this first hive, just face all your sentry guns facing the other way. So then that way you ain't got to worry about getting kills or nothing. Sentry guns do all the work. You can just concentrate on destroying this hive. You ain't got to worry about running out of ammo because your sentry gun's going to be earning you money. So as soon as you run out of ammo, just chuck that ammo down. And it's all good. This will take you about a minute if you all do it to shoot this hive and destroy it. If you've got any so flams, feel free to shoot them. They also help. Grenade turrets. Just shoot it with whatever you got. Profane tanks. And as you see here, we're going to get rid of this hive in about a minute with some great teamwork <laughs> there you go look done and dusted but anyway once you've done this you're going to go and do the next three hives and then you're going to get to the main hive again which you're going to have to destroy so once you get here same tactics put your sentry gun facing the other way and shoot the hive to get it because the longer you leave it the harder it gets if you want to do it even quicker well not even quicker but it will give you more protection then put the electric traps on behind you they cost 500 each and plus they will earn you money back as well so as well as the sentry guns electric trap guys and once you've done this don't forget to collect your three thousand dollars and the drill once you turn the corner there's going to be a rhino if you don't wish to fight it then simply don't shoot and it will run away and you'll save ammo if you're running low on cash but you ain't going to be running low on cash because you just got three thousand dollars so don't lie but yeah guys if you don't want to there's two of them actually this one they shoot it because they love money the teammates i'm playing with but if you don't want to fight them just don't shoot them they will run away and you can just walk up to the next hive without a problem without having to worry about these armadillo guys but look as you can see we love sentry guns and then once you get to this last bit as you can see here you're gonna have your sentry guns maxed out if you've done as many challenges as possible and this will allow you to put two sentry guns down so then simply you just put two sentry guns down like so, if it lets me, bish, bash, bosh. And then, literally, all you have to do is just cover your sentry gun. Sentry gun will do all the work, get all the kills. You ain't got to worry about shooting any aliens. What are up on the hilltop shooting slime balls at you? I'll just shoot the ones that are destroying your sentry guns. And when it runs out, simply put another one down. Chuck some armor, you need armor. And all that good stuff there. But on the way back, not on the way back once you've done this hive it's going to come up with everyone press square to detonate the nuke what you're going to want to do is go back to the two previous hives and place sentry guns at each of them because on your way when you when you press that square button on, the, on your way back once you reach the hives it's going to be blocked off and you're going to have two rhinos chasing your armadillo guys so once you get there you're going to already have sentry guns there so 
that's going to make it a lot easier for you guys but another quick tip in the game there's gold camos you can unlock if you want to get it without putting a million attachments on your gun if you find two, two of the same attachments like a muzzle grip and then you've equipped that to your gun if you find another muzzle grip just keep swapping them over and you'll get the gold camo quick time but um, I'm going to tell you guys my favourite loadout which I like to use I think it's the easiest way to complete it and the best way for my perk 1 well not perk 1 my ability I use the medic and what's that, what that is going to do is it's going to make you run faster it's going to make you revive your teammates faster it's going to regenerate anyone's health who's around you quicker and plus if you rank it up far enough you get a special ability which when the scorpions shoot the green slimy stuff you won't take any damage it's brilliant that's why I use it but for my ammo type the ammo I recommend is explosive ammo in my opinion it's the best ammo you just shoot you ain't even got to shoot him you just shoot the floor and he'll still die and then my other ability I like to use the shield I normally max that out as well so whenever I'm running low on health I simply chuck a shield down and then it's like having full health again like here look chuck a fest down them scorpions I mean the armadillo guys can't really do nothing when you've got a full vest on and you're going to want your sentry gun and if you ain't got sentry guns yet I misses but once you get the sentry guns it's going to make it a lot more easier to complete this and for my last thing I like to use the riot shield and I'll just leave them on my back and it, like when they're trying to attack me from behind I'm going to take less damage but as you see there you can run all the way up to that hide there the first one and put your sentry guns down so once you get there you're already ready for them your sentry guns are already killing them so you ain't really got to worry but if this video helped you out please leave a like and thanks for watching have a great day